Welcome back everyone. Uh, this is Anand Chavla here. This is my course on Google Certified Educator Level 1. And as I had mentioned in my earlier videos, uh, I have uh, created the course module wise. And in the first module, today we will be looking at Google Docs. This is the most, one of the most common apps which everybody is used to using. But I thought, why not cover up some parts of it like creating a new file, copying data from web into the document directly, creating footnotes and creating comments and assigning of comments. So let's look at it quickly. So you can either go on drive.google.com, click on new and select Google Docs. So it opens up the file, uh, you know, with untitled document. Now the best part about uh, the Google Drive and Google Docs is uh, if you're a teacher and you want to prevent uh, from uh, you know wasting paper and printing out documents now Google Drive and Google Docs you know serve a long way going you know in making sure that your classroom is paperless that's one of the biggest advantages of any Google Apps you have today is the whole idea is create a document, share the document to the entire class, and it's up and running for everyone. No one needs to print it out and lets you have a paperless classrooms. So that's how you create a new document. Now, what I want to do is in the second part, I want to search a file, which is defining creativity and innovation, which I had created earlier. Now, as soon as I click on that file, it opens up. Now, what I want to do in this file is add some text to it from the web and provide the credit to the text in form of footnote in this document. Again, try and understand what I want to do is one of the important aspects of digital citizenship is if you pick up the data or text from any external site, it's a good practice to comment and, and give a footnote in your document that this particular paragraph has been taken, the credit goes to the, the website or the author in form of footnote in that page. So what I'll do is I'll open a tab in this Chrome Omni box, I will type creativity and I will click on a link which I feel is good so what I would do is I would copy this paragraph so select the text right click copy or control C click and control V again. So that copies your text, but what I want to do is, as a, as I explained to you, uh, in terms of digital citizenship, it's always a good practice to give credit that where you have picked up this text from. So what you would do is select the text, you'll go and insert, and you'll click on footnote. Now, as soon as you click on footnote, you get this one and the cursor starts blinking. So go on that website, select the link, right? Select the link, right click copy, come over your document where the cursor is blinking, control V again. Now you would notice that you get this one here. So it indicates to the users who are reading this document that okay, this particular paragraph is being picked up from this link. 
So that's an ideal way of giving the credit to the author or the website. Now, looking at the final part of this module is we will learn on how to insert comments for a document and assign, sometimes you want to assign the comment for a particular student rather than the entire class. So how do you do that? So we head back to the document. Now suppose I want to add a comment here. So I would just select the text. As soon as you select the text, you have a link here, a plus sign. If I use the magnifier, that link, insert comment or add comment. So when you click on that, it opens up a pop-up box. and click on comment. So you will see that this comment is added. So as soon as the students click on it, these students can you know, reply on this. If they're allowed to comment on the document, if you had seen in the earlier module, we had created, if the document allows to be commented, is shared in the commenting fashion, then the children can also comment back on the document. So that was commenting for the entire class. Now suppose you want to create this comment only for one particular student or two students. So what you'll do is select the text and this time you have an add a comment link here also. You have it at this section also. So you click on it and type hey this comment is and then you type a plus sign and the email ID. Okay, so plus sign and email ID, click on this and click on a sign. So what happens is this particular comment gets assigned to the person and accordingly that person can act to the comment. You can have multiple plus signs there and keep selecting the people there. Okay, everyone. So I think it was clear. In this module, we covered all the four apps, Gmail, Tasks, Drive, and Docs. And I'm looking forward to see you in module two, where you could learn more about Google Certified Educator 11.1 apps. Thank you, everyone. See you soon.